Hello and welcome. In this screencast, I'm going to show you how to embed flash videos in your SharePoint content. Now, what exactly do I mean by that? Well, probably you've had the similar situation when you have a video published on any of the video sharing sites. You just copy the code, so, and you want to embed it in your, for example, blog post. So, what you usually do, let's name this one a sample, is edit the source code and just paste the embed code. This should be working, right? Of course. So, if we publish this one, what happens is the SharePoint filters all of the embed code out. So, this is the security. It looks like a security in SharePoint. So, there is a workaround. And this is using uh, Dev Concepts uh, SWF object. This is a very neat uh, JavaScript file. So let's get started. Uh, first of all, we will need a document library where to upload this uh, this script. So let's just create one. And we'll name this one, for example, Scripts. We don't need it in the quick launch and we create. Okay, the next thing we do is to upload the the flash the JavaScript file. I've already had it have it downloaded in my desktop. So this is the one we need actually as WF object of JS. Okay, great. This is the step number one. The next thing we have to do is to copy actually the code I have written already in my blog. So, I will just go up and copy this part of the code. So, under step number two in my blog post, you will be able to just copy paste all of this code. Select it all. So, from script type, uh, text JavaScript, etc. to until slash script. So, everything what is code under step number two. Here we actually need a content editor, editor web part to paste this code into, so let's just quickly add it. Okay, this is the URL for quickly adding the web parts to the page, to, the, to any of the SharePoint pages. So let's just add a content editor web part, and we have to add it below, below the posts uh, web part. Let's open the tool pane and edit the source. Don't edit the rich text. This will just mess up your web website. So we just paste the whole code inside. And of course, uh, make sure you have the correct URL of the your SWF object .js, uh you have a script file. So I've put it in the document library scripts, right? Okay. Okay, this is step number two. Step number three is to put a special part of the code inside of the blog post itself. And this is the one I have in inside my blog. So we go here. And I will or I will copy the sample. So this is one sample that we have here. Now the trick is that SharePoint filters most of the uh, tag properties out, and also all of the custom tags. There are very few tags allowed inside of the inside of the uh, content itself. So the two tags that are allowed are actually class and ID. So let's use. So what I did is to use the class as a reminder actually or, or an indicator to the script uh, to show okay this layer is going to contain a flash and the ID is containing, uh, containing actually all of the parameters that we need separated by two columns so let's copy paste this one okay here we have so we don't need anything inside of this or actually you can keep if you want to have the link to the original of course and paste this one of course now we don't want to 
and bet my video this video that I uh, that I have like a sample in my blog post so let's change this to to this video that I have right here so I'll copy paste the code again and this is I think the easiest way to do it is to copy paste the code inside it's going to get filtered out anyway but you can delete also so let's just go uh, step by step first of all the first parameter inside of the ID is the URL of the flash player so this is this one that SRC so this one source we need to copy this one and replace the the first parameter Let's paste okay this is the first part the second uh, parameter so you see they're separated by two columns the second parameter is a unique video I mean unique uh, uh, movie object ID so you can get creative on this one as you want but just put whichever ID just in case this is uh, this is especially per, uh, important if you're putting uh, two two videos that are actually the same so let's put I don't know BB video one okay the next two parameters so this and this are the width so let's copy this one and the height so this and this and that's basically it if your flash uh, embed code doesn't have the flash bars but okay let's just go uh, step by step the next parameter is uh, the, no the version of the flash that you need and this parameter is the background color so if your flash embed code has some flash bars like this one here until here you need to copy paste those this one also inside so let's copy this one let's put two columns like a separator and paste the code and uh, another thing that you need to do with these flash bars is to separate all of your flash bars uh, by two columns so replacing the and sign with two columns so this is the first one here is another one other one and I think uh, one more and that's it okay so this uh, trick is going to work only in the pages that you have this uh, JavaScript uh, the two so the SWF object and my script uh, embedded in the page uh, this is not going to work in the in an RSS feed it's not going to work in the pages actually where uh, you don't have the script embedded so I recommend you 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 always put some alternate content between this uh, tags so I just uh, put please view this post on my website to display the video just for the viewers who are going to be reading for example my blog post through, through the RSS and basically uh, like that okay we can clean this part the embed code, the original embed code and that's it, we just put OK this is how the viewers are going to see it through the RSS here is a sample, so let's just publish and that's it, here we have a video embedded inside of uh, a SharePoint blog post hope you find it useful